gentlemen, we ask your pardon. If we for a moment are serious, we've been giving some thought to our present career, and we fear it's a bit deleterious. Oh, deleterious, a $5 word. Sure, the cover charge is on, isn't it? Although our present salary is stupendous, terrific, gigantic, lousy. Although we love the billet, do you send us? I get them. I read them. Oh, so you can read. Unless we make a switch, we never will get rich. But we are rich, haven't we? Trees, bees, skies, and butterflies? Yeah, but try and pay the rent with one of those. And, and so we have decided after this engagement's through, we're going into business, it's the only thing to do. We'll spend our dimes for the New York Times to read the arrivals of buyers. We'll shed bitter tears for accounts in arrears when we look at the failures and fires. We're going to get stenographers who know the latest tricks, and we'll do our dictating every evening after six. Big business, big business, business is the backbone of the nation. The fellows who do well are those who buy and sell the products of American creation. Big business, big business, I'm going to be a businessman myself. You'll never be successful in an office or a shop. I wouldn't. No, unless you're bald, you're bound to be a flop. Why? Bald-headed men are most successful, they come out on top. In big, big business, you take the life of Louis Zilch, the famous merchant prince. He started on a shoestring, he's been tied up ever since. He came here on a sailing ship, which proves beyond a doubt, if there's anything inside of a man, the sea will bring it out. America, America, of thee, of thee we sing. You can't go wrong where you belong, says every man a king. It's just as good in Italy. It is? Oh, what do you? Why, certainly. In Italy, it's every man a deuce. Stu, the word is not deuce, but duce. Eddie Ducci? Not Eddie Ducci. We just received a market tip to make our profit soar. The tip is this, do not miss American Cuspidor. Oh, the market's like a woman who's been very well rehearsed. Like a woman? Sure, it looks its best when it's ready to do its worst. We're going to work with might and main like bees within a hive. And 70 will find us twice as smart as 35. You're twice as smart at 70. That is, if you're alive. Yet you only can do half the things you did at 35. Big business, big business. And when we have some merchandise to sell, we'll ask for several offers, then we'll take the highest bid. But if at any time we see our profits start to skid, we'll open up a chain of flats like Polly Adler did. That's big, big business.